ultimately what we're going to end up with this drawing is our finished version okay which is the section view the front section view so in this particular drawing I recommended that we started with the top view so we're gonna start with the top view and end up with the bottom section view instead of the front view okay so I'm gonna show you how to start this drawing today this is the finished drawing that you'll end up with all right you're also gonna have the right side view and these section lines will be finished up I didn't finish this drawing but you guys get the idea all right so with our title block or even a blank master cam um, we spoke about working in quadrants okay so we're gonna sp work up in this first quadrant so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold alt and depress my center wheel I can move this around so I'll start up here okay everyone should have created a title block thus far so you guys have your title block quarter inch border all the way around um, within that title block you're going to be creating this drawing I'm a big fan of working with center lines okay so I recommend that you always start with a center line so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a line that is a center line or an endpoint and I know from looking at my print that my center line from the center of the circle out to the outside is going to be four and a quarter inches so I'm going to click and you'll notice my angle which is right here changes you see it moving I'm going to type in zero and click the little angle button to the left which will lock that perfectly at zero degrees okay if I want to I can also come over here and type in 4.25 and lock that and my line will automatically snap to four and a quarter from where I've clicked all right so right off the bat you guys can see that I've started drawing this line too close to the origin I don't have room to project down so what I have to do is delete this line and start that line a little further north or a little further up here so that I can project down so I'll create a line which is an endpoint at 4.25 I'm sorry zero at 4.25 all right and and from there that will lock this line in okay from that point what I'm going to be doing is creating a center circle at the end of that so I'm going to create and everything we're looking for is under create so create lines create arcs create if we're creating rectangles whatever it is it's found under the create menu so I'm going to create an arc with a center point directly locked on here and I know that my diameter is 2.5 so I'm going to type that directly in 2.5 enter there's my center circle now a lot of us were trying to uh, create lines with increments by using our measurements up here on the left and right the best tool that we have one of the best tools that we have is the offset which is under X form so if we come up to X form we can hit offset and offset works by staggering a line or copying a line off a certain distance off another line so if I know I want to come off this line one inch in this direction and one inch in this direction I could type in one and I'm going to leave this menu up. I'm going to click on the line and I'm going to indicate the offset direction. So I'll click up at this line. I can hit apply and I can do it again. Click the line and click the direction that I want to move it. Okay? That now gives me the outline of my shape. Okay? I can close this end up by saying create an endpoint line and uncheck and this is a common error people run into they leave their lines checked so if I check uncheck these two otherwise when I click here it's going to want to only draw at zero degrees that needs to be changed to 270 to give me a line down this direction oops let's close that up All right. Now, um, once we have the shape hashed out, I recommend keeping your center line as, as much as possible. The first thing that we need to do is get that inner rectangle created. If you look back to this drawing, we're creating this inner rectangle. 
So how we go about doing that is by offsetting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into Mastercam. I'm going to say X form offset. And I know that my overall distance or overall spread is at, of that is 1.25. So you could divide that with a calculator or do it in your head. Or you can type in 1.25 divided by, which is the backslash, 2. And I know that's a little tough to see, um, but it's just 1.25 backslash 2. When I click on this line, I can indicate the direction. And you see that automatically pops those lines out for me. Okay? What that just did for me is it told me that the distance between this point and this point is 1 and a quarter inch or 1.25. Okay, you'll see right now, and some of you might be saying, um, my lines are overhanging into my circles. So what we need to do is trim those up. When we're trimming, we're going to be editing that line. So I'm going to come to edit, trim break, trim break extend. The way trim break extend works is it can either trim a line to a point, extend a line to a point, or break a line at a point. So what I'm going to do is trim these lines. So I'm going to select the line by clicking on it. I'm going to come over here, and when that line turns to a dashed line, which you can see this one doing up in the top left, we click on it, and it'll disappear. Try it again. Oops. It's a little tough with these colors here. And if you get a message where the lines don't intersect, what I found a lot of is that some of you are duplicating or drawing two lines on top of each other. I keep getting that message because I'm not clicking on the line. It's just tough to see color-wise for the projector. All right, you guys get the concept for trim break? All right, there we go. It's just tough for me to click back here. There we go. There we go. All right, so the next step of this in creating this is getting our circles placed. You should be very easy at placing our circles at this point, okay? So what we're going to do is simply place these circles by offsetting lines. We know the distance from this line to our center point, this line to our center point. So I'm going to come over to my other drawing and offset this line, all right? So I'm going to X form offset, and I know that my first circle is 3 quarters of an inch or 0.75 off this line. I'll offset that in and apply, and I know that my next circle is 1 inch in from that line. So I'll offset that and apply. Now that gives me a center point in which I can place my circles. So I'm going to create an arc, center point circle, with a diameter of 0.5. Lock it, place one there, place one there, enter, escape. These lines can now be deleted. To delete a line, you click on it, and we can hit our erase entities, or delete entities, or you can simply hit the delete key, not the backspace, but delete. All right. To close this rectangle, I'm going to X form offset, and I'm going to offset 2.5 inches as per the print. Apply, good, and clean that up, edit, trim break, trim break extend. All right, once again, keeping my center line for as long as I can. The next point we get to on this, the next challenging piece, um, is this little keyway. Okay? How we create this keyway depends on if the dimensions are correct or not. And for a keyway, if your dimensions are incorrect, you'll never be able to use that keyway if the dimensions are incorrect. Okay? So to get that created, what I'm going to do is use my center line. Okay? I know that the total width of my keyway is 0.375 or 3 eighths. So I'm going to X form offset. And I'm going to offset. 0.375 divided by 2 because I'm splitting it both directions. When I do this, you'll see that what that is doing is bringing this line off there, 0.1875, and down there, 0.1875.
That means the total width right here is 3 eighths or 0 0.375. Another important note is that these lines are a different dimension than these circles. When you go to uh, project your lines over and down for your right side view, you're going to need separate projection lines for these. When I zoom in here, you'll notice that this line does not come in contact with my circle. To get that to touch, I can also use my trim break extend command. All right, so I can say let's trim break extend. Instead of trimming it, I'm going to select this line and extend it to that circle. This line extended to that circle, and it pops it in there. Okay. Now, if we look at this drawing, it's important to note that the dimension from here at this intersection out to here is a quarter of an inch. Okay, so with that said, creating a line from here out is different than creating a line from here out. All right, so I'm going to create a line that hits these two points and use that line to offset out a quarter inch. You can see the difference would have been made up between these two lines. So I'm going to do X form, offset, and I'll offset that out a quarter of an inch. Oops, X form, offset, quarter of an inch, place that out. Now I can go ahead and trim that up. So it's an edit, trim break, trim break extend, trim that, if I can select it, come on. All right, um, let's get this circle trimmed up. Trim break, we can get rid of this center section right now. And we can also click this line and simply delete it. All right, there's the start of our top view. You'll notice this circle has a center point right here. All right. So we can get that center circle placed there.